saints go marching in When the saints go marching We thank you for this day, this wonderful day that wasn't promised to us. We thank you for allowing us to come to the house safely, Yahweh. We thank you for your words that you're going to deliver to us tonight. And we want to say thank you. In the name of Yahshua, we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. I'd like to read out of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 4 and, 4 and 5. I mean, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways and knowledge, Acknowledge him, and he shall direct our path. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated. So we thank Yahweh for the word that was spoken in the in the song, the Apostle Hurley song. I want to be in that number. I know I want to be in that number. It's your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, amen. Amen. So I'm not going to prolong the time. Because Yahweh is going to speak to us. I can't wait to hear what he has to say to the church. Hallelujah. At least me. I, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hear his word. Because yes, I need his word, especially in the last evil days. Amen. Too much is going on. Yes, 
He spared my life this morning. Amen. Truly, I'm so thankful. That's why I want to hear what he has to say today to the body. So at this time, we're going to rise and bring forth uh, Avengers Chillers by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Joe, I want to thank Yahweh for that song that was rendered to Yahweh this evening. Amen. Giving Yahweh all the, the praises that he deserves. Amen. Thanking him for another opportunity to be found in the house of Yahweh one more time. Joe, thank my Heavenly Father Yahweh for allowing me to see this day I know that was not promised unto me. Truly, Yahweh has been good unto us all. Amen. I want to give Joe honor to the bishops tonight. Thanking Yahweh for these men here because I do trust them with my life. You know, because I know they're working on themselves. So when they bring forth the word, they're going to, they're going to preach the Messiah. Amen. So I thank my Heavenly Father Yahweh for the trials and tribulations I do go on or go through on a daily basis. Amen. You know, saints, you know, we're not we're not worthy to really serve Yahweh. Yahweh looked upon the land, you know, he didn't see no one that was fit to serve. Amen. But through Yeshua the Messiah, we can be cleansed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through his words, you know, we can find the strength to perform Hallelujah. Yahweh's will. Hallelujah. Give him double honor. To Apostle Washington and his labor of love towards Amen. his ministry. Amen. You know, I think y'all for the words that have been coming forth here lately. Because it's been causing me to examine myself even more deeply. Amen. Amen. It's been causing me to look a little bit more deeper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, Apostle Washington was sharing some words down there in uh, Lubbock on Tuesday night. Amen. And today I was listening again to the words. Amen. And he was speaking about my father's heart. He's speaking about, of course, you know, his, his heart. Toward, Apostle Washington was speaking about his own heart, first of all. How he's been dedicated to his ministry, how he hasn't found himself trying to gain anything as far as wealth. He hasn't been trying to prosper in his way as far as according to just take things upon himself and just say, it's all me. Amen. His heart was, you know, set towards Yahweh. Amen. Amen. He said, he's talking about the many sacrifices he's made across throughout the years. Amen. Yeah, him and his wife. Yeah, him and his wife. Yes. And then he began to speak about my father and how he was sacrificing as well. Amen. Amen. And I had to slow down myself and said, Yahweh, examine my heart. Yes. Hallelujah. Because Amen. when the words go forth, you got to find yourself examining yourself. Yes. Yes. When Yahweh's spirit goes forth, you got to find yourself examining yourself. Yes. To see if you're, true, if you're really truly sincere about serving Yahweh. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And of course, myself, I had to hold back some tears. Because I look at my father's life and I see how he sacrificed everything. Amen. See how Apostle Washington has sacrificed everything. Amen. And we're supposed to be following the same stead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm seeing them both say, well, I sacrificed this and I sacrificed that. I said, no, I got to work on my heart more. Yes. I'm not satisfied with myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not satisfied with myself. Amen. And as I was driving today, as I was holding back the tears, Amen. there was a homeless man on the corner. And y'all say, here's your opportunity. Amen. The gentleman asked me for something to drink. And I've been taking my lunches with me. And I said, you know, y'all, let me, let me find something that I can offer unto him. Amen. Because it's not about me. It's never been about me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I happened to find a Gatorade in my, in my, 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 my lunch pill that I take with me. And it was just cold enough. I said, let me offer it. I said, would you like this, sir? He said, yes, I'd love, I'd love to take that. And I offered it to him today. I wasn't carrying no cash on me. Hallelujah. Amen. But I was willing to sacrifice what I had to give unto him. Amen. I said, thank you, Yahweh, yes. for allowing me to see myself. Yes. Hearing the words of the man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To show me what I should be doing in these last new days. Yes. Yes. This race is not about me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What we're doing on this, on this mission that's at hand is not about us. Yes. It's always been about others. Hallelujah. And as life comes at us really fast, you have to slow yourself down. Yes. So what am I really doing on this journey of mine? Hallelujah. 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 So I don't want to find myself deceiving myself. Yes. Thank God for the words that's found through uh, Apostle Hurley. was always talking about examine yourself. Yes. Go back and double and triple check yourself. Yes. To see that you're not deceiving yourself. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 We hide behind deeds that we've done in the past. That's easy to do. Oh, yes. Amen. But what are you doing today? What have we done for Yahweh lately, as Pastor Bills would say? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
What are you doing for Yahweh today? Why it's hey. called today? Hey. I was watching uh, uh, it was called Paul the Apostle of the Messiah. Amen. And he's, he's speaking about love. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Love is not what you feel. Right. Love is what you show. Right. Yeah. And so as I'm, I'm hearing, today that's what I'm hearing about today is about love. Hallelujah. 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 Through the word that was preached Thursday night, I mean Tuesday night, here and in Lubbock, hearing about love. Amen. What sacrifices are we making towards this ministry? Hallelujah. 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 The Apostle Paul had them in his day. He can go back and say, well, this be like this brother. And this brother here has, you know, tremendous affection towards the saints. Yes. So it's causing me to look at my own heart. Hallelujah. 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 Now, that wasn't my plan when I woke up this morning to start thinking about my heart. But at the same time, I know what mission I'm on. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So I thank y'all for these words that we that we hear every Tuesday, and Thursday, and Sunday. Amen. It causes us to examine ourselves. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And we really have to slow down. Because right. believe me, I, I like to be caught in a fast pace every day, all day long. Yeah. Make the time go by really fast. Oh, yeah. But don't you realize that you know you don't have this much time on the earth? Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As long as that, that second hand is moving, your life is moving as well. Amen. Amen. So, y'all, I don't want to just let this life go by me like that. Hallelujah. I've got to slow down. Amen. I've got to realize that I don't have much, much time on this earth. Yes, right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I have to take each day one step at a time. Amen. I, got, I, want to, I, want to, I want to say, y'all, I appreciate the life you've given unto me. Oh, yes, yes. But what am I doing with this grace? Hallelujah. Yes. This grace that's bestowed upon every man. What am I doing with it? Amen. Am I using it to examine myself? Am I using his words? Am I using Yeshua's example to compare my life with him? Amen. Am I looking at the, the, the perfect man of God that's walking before me? Am I marking their walk? Yes. Hallelujah. 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 That's how you examine yourself. Yes. Amen. You know, I don't care what your mouth says right here, but how are you walking? Amen. Look at your life. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 We know Apostle Washington's life. We know his, his purpose of living. We know everything about him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But are you looking at your life in the same way? That's where, Yashu, that's, where, that's where my examination was found today. Amen. Looking at my life. Amen. Exactly. Am I, am I bearing fruit? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Scripture says our time is always ready. Always ready. You should always be ready to perform good works. Hallelujah. Amen. We have the opportunity to do good works. We should find ourselves so doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. So I thank Yahweh for these words that I hear all the time. Amen. Because my flesh doesn't want to have any part of it. But the Spirit is always coming to remind us all the time. Always coming to disturb our pure minds. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for the Spirit. Yeah. Amen. Always reminding us how we should be. How we should be walking. Amen. Let's go to the book of Titus. Amen. Third chapter. First verse. Thank you for my beautiful wife. I have four Thank sons that Yahweh allowed me to have. Hallelujah. These blessings that Yahweh allowed me to have, I don't consider myself to even be worthy to have Amen. them. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I say to myself, I said, Yahweh, help me to be a better husband. Help me to be a better father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This life is not promised to us. Hallelujah. Chapter 3, verse 1, what does it say, Zeke? Amen. Titus 3 and 1. Yes. For it's written. Yes. Put them in the mind to be subject. Yes. To principalities. To principalities. And powers. And powers. To obey magistrates. To obey magistrates. To be ready to, to every good work. To be ready to every good work. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be ready to every good work. Amen. We have to be reminded of these things because the flesh is against it. Hallelujah. The flesh doesn't want no part of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What the Spirit wants, the Spirit wants. Amen. Amen. What your flesh wants is something that's totally contrary to what the Spirit wants. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I look at myself very, very good today. Amen. So I can do better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just like everybody else in here. I can do better. Yes. Yeah, we can always find a way to, to become stronger Amen. in this faith. Look at your walk. Are you increasing? Yes. That is the question. As long as you're increasing, you're examining yourself. Hallelujah. 
Because according to the flesh, you want to decrease. The flesh doesn't want to do anything good. Come about according to the spirit, that is. Read it. To speak evil of no man. To speak evil of no man. To be no brawlers. To be no brawlers. But gentle. But gentle. Showing all meekness to all men. And see, it takes a work to do to perform these these uh, to perform these these here. It takes a work on yourself. Amen. Yes, Lord. Because you, according to yourself, will, will be selfish every time. Amen. Amen. You think I want to be meek? I don't want to be meek. Amen. But if I want to be saved, you best believe I'm working on meekness. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. If I want, if I if I'm singing about all these songs to so y'all, I want to show you the praise. Yeah. But I'm not working on myself. I'm de I'm de I'm de I'm I'm lying to myself. I'm deceiving myself. Yes, Lord. Hey. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And I don't have time to do those kinds of works. Amen. I don't have time to be found in hypocrisy. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I always look towards the works that my, my father had done when he was alive. Yes. Even when he was found wrong in the sight of Yahweh. Yes. He worked on himself. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Are we concentrating ourselves yes, for the work that's at hand? Yes. Yeah, the Mexico trip was great. We made a great sacrifice to make to make it out there. Amen. But what are you doing today? Right. Hallelujah. 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 You're alive today. I'm looking right at you in your eyes. I see your chest going in and out. You're breathing this life that you always allowed you to have. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But are you working on yourself? Amen. That is the question. Hallelujah. Read it. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. You best believe it. Amen. We were sometimes foolish. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The only thing that we, we, we cared about was the thing about us. Amen. Amen. That's all that I cared about. If I'm not getting nothing out of it, guess what? I'm not going to be doing it. Amen. I'm not going to participate in anything because I'm not getting anything out of it. Amen. But on this journey here in the house of Yahweh, I'm finding joy. Hallelujah. Amen. I have to find joy in what I'm doing. Yes, Lord. Because if I don't, then I'm not going to want to do it. Amen. According to the flesh, that is. Amen. But I beat and I bring my body into subjection. Right, I got to find myself doing Every work that's performed here in the house of God, I don't find anything out of it according to the flesh. Uh -huh. But my spiritual man is finding joy. Yes. Amen. So as long as I'm finding joy, I'm going to continue to participate right. in every good work. Amen. Regardless of what it is. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you may say, well, you know, you, you may like a lot. Of, you may say, well, evangelists do like a lot of things according to the tasting and all that. I said, well, that's, that's, that's partially true. But at the same time, I have found a way to overlook that. It just found myself participating. Amen. According to the selling of the back. Amen. It doesn't matter what's being sold because I want to find myself participating. Yes. Because it's a good work. Yes. It's going towards the work of the ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Fundraising. I'm not finding anything according to the flesh. I'm not finding any pleasure in those things. Amen. Matter of fact, the flesh doesn't even want to be out there. Yes. But the spiritual man said, look, this is for the work of the ministry. Yes. And I'm finding pleasure in doing those things which please the Father. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the mind I serve Yahweh, as Apostle Paul said. With the mind. But according to this flesh, it's, it's all about sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But I overcome my flesh according to what's being taught. Yes, Lord. Read it. Yes. For we ourselves also are sometimes foolish. Yes. Disobedient. Disobedient. Yes. Deceived. Yes. Serving di diverse lusts and pleasures. Diverse lusts and pleasures. Amen. Amen. Yes. Living in, in malice. Living in malice. In envy. Yes. Hateful and hating one another. See, according to every temptation, in that movie I was speaking about, Paul, the Apostle of the Messiah, Luke had encouraged the believers because they were locked up in prison. Right. And what Luke had told them, he said, now they're going to have game, the gangs are going to uh, gonna happen tomorrow. And they all got scared. Because according to the games, they know they're all gonna, going to die. Yeah. Amen. But he reassured them. He told them the words of Apostle Paul. He said, remember, it's about love. He said, you know, yeah, this is going to hurt in the beginning. He said, it's going to hurt in the beginning. But of course, you know, they're being fed to lions and they're being persecuted. He's letting them know it's going to hurt in the beginning. So all of us are in this suffering way. When we deny ourselves in the beginning, it hurts in the beginning. You don't want to do it too many more times. So, who that hurt. That brother, had, he, he said some sharp words to me. I want to say something else. And I deny myself. That hurt in the beginning. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But after you do it a while, yeah. you become numb to the pain. Yeah. And you get better at it. Yeah. You get stronger. Hallelujah. Yeah. You're finding victory after victory after victory, and you get stronger and stronger. Yeah. And behind that, you find yourself being blessed more and more. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not talking, I'm not talking about the blessings according to the natural. I'm talking about spiritual blessings. You're learning how to overcome your flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And once you learn what you learn about yourself according to that way, you get you gain more ground. Hallelujah. So you know what? I, I at first I didn't think I, I could do it, but now I'm finding myself getting more gaining more ground. I'm getting better at this thing. Hallelujah. 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 That's how I made it so far. Amen. Because I'm gaining more ground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read it, see. But after the kindness of our, and love. But after the kindness and love. Of our God. Of our God. Our Savior toward yes. the man appeared. Yes. Not by works of righteousness. Yes. Which we have done. Yes. But according to his mercy, he saved us. But according to his mercy, he saved us. Yahweh has a multitude of tender mercies. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I slow down and I think about the mercies, yes. you don't know what that does for me. Yes. This God is... This almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a great God. Amen. Looked at corruptible beings. Uh -huh. yes. Our flesh is just messed up. Amen. Born into sin and shaped in iniquity. Amen. Every single one of us. Yeah. Amen. But he looked down. He said, you know what? I don't, I don't see anybody here that I can choose to bring forth righteousness. Uh -huh. So he came down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Took on the same flesh that we have on. Yes, Lord. Same corruptible flesh that, the same corruptible flesh that we have on. Yes. He came just like us. Amen. He didn't have a superpower. Amen. He wasn't a super being. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was just like us. Amen. He became one of our brethren. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But yet he condemned sin in the flesh. Amen. A man is tempted in all points. Amen. Yet without sin. Amen. I look towards Yahshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look towards that man in my life. Amen. I'm looking towards Yahshua who is the author and the finisher of my faith. Amen. If I'm going to be here, I'm going to look towards something. Yes, Lord. Yahweh blessed me with a vision many years ago. In his vision, all I could see was silhouettes. Everything else was dark, but there was a light. And all I could see was silhouettes. And I saw individuals getting in front of me, and they had their hands out towards me. Because I was in a dark place. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they had their hands out, but as I got closer, they retracted their hands. And then they left, and I couldn't see them no, no longer. And then somebody else got appeared, and I went towards them. They had their hands out. As I got closer, they retracted. And then they disappeared. And, I, and every time that it would happen, I would get closer and closer to them. And I would get closer to the silhouette. I'd get so close, and, and, the vision, and the image would just disappear. But then there was one image that appeared before me. And I reached out, and I was able to grab a hand. Amen. And then when I grabbed the hand, I saw that it was Yeshua. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He was able to pull me out. That was a vision that Yahweh gave for me a long time ago. Amen. If I do this thing right, Yahshua will pull us through. Hallelujah. Amen. Based on his strength, not my own strength. Amen. I thank Yahweh for that vision. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, I have to remember that he's the only one I can reach out to. Right. He's the only one that can bring me out through his words. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Read it. Not by works of righteousness. Yes. Which we have done. Yes. But according to his mercy, he saved us. Yes. By the washing of regeneration. Read it. And renewing of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Which he said on us abundantly. Read. Through Yahshua the Messiah, our Savior. Through Yahshua the Messiah, our Savior. Amen. Yes. That being justified by his grace. Yes. We should be the, we should be made heirs according to the, the hope of eternal life. See, he made it, he made a way for us. Yes. Yes. Amen. He came he came out, he came upon us, he came, he came here on planet Earth. He came and he dwelt amongst us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he went to the cross. He honed himself to, even until the death of the cross. Amen. And through, his, through the shedding of the blood, hallelujah, hallelujah. made a way for us all. A lot of people like to say, a lot of people like to bank, they like to bank their salvation just because he died. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not the case. Yeah. They want to bank on, well, his blood covers a multitude of sins. Right. Yes, the blood was shed for the purpose for us to enter. He made a way for us. But he didn't just come and die. He had a plan of salvation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He came forth with the gospel of reconciliation for every man. Yeah. That whosoever will accept his words, right. Right. receive his words, uh -huh. they will have salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Not that he just came and died, right. but it's more to the message. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Him dying was just the, the doorway to get it for us to, to be accepted. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 He died for all mankind. But he came forth with, with words of reconciliation. Uh, yes. Because everybody's trying to get to God, but they don't know how to do it. Right. But if you go through his words, hallelujah, yeah. the example that he left back, yeah. you can have peace with the Father. Yes, yeah. Be found yourself dwelling in him. 
exchanging his ways for our ways. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read it. This is a faithful saying. Yes. And these things I want that, that you affirm you constantly. Yes. That they which you have been that they which I believe in God. Yes. Might be careful to maintain good works. Read that over. Amen. Yes. This is a faithful saying. This is a faithful saying. And these things I will that affirm you. Yes. Constantly. Yes. That they which have believed in God. That they which have believed in Yahweh. Amen. Might be careful. Might be careful. To maintain good works. To maintain good works. Amen. Amen. So we have to be careful to maintain good works. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it's Satan's job to deceive us. It's Satan's job to get the best of us. It's his job to, to, to kill us. Hallelujah. Yeah. We do have an adversary out there. You can't just walk outside and just do it carelessly. You can't do that. You have to say, look, I have an adversary. And he's trying to get me at every turn. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's trying to get me to sin at every turn. He's trying to catch me, catch me when I'm at my weakest points. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you ever had somebody in your life that tried to get the best of you? Somebody on the job? Somebody in your family? And you were always looking out for them, weren't you? You always, you always looking at it. Uh, that's, my, that's my cousin Billy right there. He's trying. Every time I come around, he's got something to say about me. Every time he's trying to run my name in the mud, he's trying to do it. I see him coming right now. I know. I know what's up his sleeve. I know what he's about to do. So we have adversaries out there. Hallelujah. So why is it when we come to the, to the spiritual, we're not looking out for Satan? That's right. Hallelujah. You can't just you can't just walk by him. He's not like he's not gonna do anything. He's a threat. Hallelujah. Yeah, he may come, he may appear to you as a friend. He may say, "Well, if you do this, you won't you won't die." As he told Adam, as he told Eve, "If you do this, you won't die." Shall be as gods, hallelujah. But if he was able to deceive Eve, what do you think he's gonna do with you? He's gonna run you raggedy, hallelujah. He's gonna, gonna do what he wants to do and make it turn you into a rag doll. That's what he's gonna do to you. But see, we're prepared to make war with him if he come out and receive the words of Yeshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only through his strength can you get the victory. Amen. Because you can't do it on your own strength. That's right. It's impossible for you to do it. Amen. That's why people outside, they judge us. Because they're basing it off of their strength. Well, if I was you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to take that. Well, they speak the truth. Because first of all, you're not me. <laughs> but it's not me that's doing the work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's Yeshua the Messiah that's Amen. doing the work. It's not just me on my own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeshua Messiah said, the works that I do, hallelujah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't according to him, but it was of, it was of Yahweh. Yeah, that's, that's why he was able to perform all these things. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So people outside looking in, they don't understand. Yeah, yeah. They have carnal minds they can't understand. Right, right. Because this thing here is a spiritual battle. Right. The choices that we make is, is about spiritual things. Amen. Spiritual for spiritual, carnal for carnal. Uh -huh. The carnal cannot understand, can't perceive the spiritual things. Because to the carnal mind, it's foolishness unto them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So therefore, I don't take no counsel from people outside. Amen. Now, even my own mother, hallelujah. hallelujah. If it's wrong and contrary to the truth, I don't even receive it. Right. Amen. But if it has a hint of truth of it, I say, I may consider that. Yes. So yes, mom, I'll do that. Right. If it's a hint of truth found in her words. Yes. But other than that, I'm not going to even agree with it. I'm just saying, okay. Right. Amen. I'll do the truth. That's about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because I'm about saving my soul. Yeah. They're not, they're, they're not going to be able to save me in the end time. Hallelujah. Yeah. I have to work them on, on my own self. That's right. That's right. I want to be saved in the end. Hallelujah. I don't want this work here to be in vain on my behalf. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to find myself working on myself. Yeah. Find myself gaining ground. Amen. Becoming more kind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Share what I need to share. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 In my weak points, I'm going to work on myself. Yeah. The spirits always point out my weak points every time. Yeah, every time. I come to the house of Yahweh. I'm, some days I might feel good about myself. Right. And some of the other days, the other days, I don't really feel too good about myself. Yeah. But when I make it to the house of Yahweh, I know I'm going to hear words that I need to hear. Amen. I'm going to hear the truth about myself. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. In the beginning, I got offended with the word. In the beginning. Yeah. The, the spirit always offended me. Who does he think he's talking to? <laughs> Didn't even call my name though. But I was offended. Hallelujah. Sitting in the front row as a brother. I didn't want to change. I love my ways. Hallelujah. The things I was doing in secret, I love those ways. Wanted to hold on to them dearly. I felt like I was going to die without it. Hallelujah. But the spirit kept prying. 
Spirit kept hammering. Just like, just like Apostle did your watch. Kept hammering, utterly destroying the sin that's in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what the Spirit does to us. It tries to hammer out the sin that's in our life. Me and my siblings, we didn't really, didn't really care about, too much about being around my father. He was too serious. He was, yeah, he was too holy at that. He was too holy. He had a zero, zero tolerance for sin. Hallelujah. Just like these schools say, zero tolerance for drugs. But my father was more serious than that. Matter of fact, if you sin at all, he wanted to kick you out the house. He didn't care where, you, where, where we're at, you're gone. You might be in between towns. It might be pitch black. But you're getting out. Hallelujah. That's how my father was. We can't forget about those kinds of sacrifices in our life. We're trying to make it, saints. Hallelujah. We've got to be sincere about this word. We've got to be drawn on to Yahweh. And he will draw on to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read it, see. This is a faithful saying. This is a faithful saying. In these things I will, that you affirm constantly. Yes. That they which believe in God. That they which believe in Yahweh. Might be careful. Might be careful. To maintain good works. To maintain good works. Amen. We can't just base it, you know, well, we, we, met, we went to Mexico, Apostle. That's good enough, right? I was going to look at this and be like, that's not good enough. As a matter of fact, not even close to being good enough. Amen. I mean, yeah, it was a good sacrifice. Don't get me wrong. It was a good sacrifice towards Yahweh. But we still got to be careful to maintain good works. There's still more good works out there to maintain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, we got yeah, to take this gospel into every creature. Hallelujah. So why is it just stop in Mexico? Did the world just all revolves around Mexico? No. It's just a start. We're just beginning. Hallelujah. I have to be careful to maintain good works. Because it's Satan's job to deceive me. It made me feel like I'm okay now. Well, you know, it was a great sacrifice for you to make it. So, yeah, it was a great sacrifice, yes, but it doesn't end there. That wasn't the end-all, be-all situation in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's greater heights and deeper depths we got to get to. Yeah. Amen. So I got to continue to work on myself. Hallelujah. Read it, Z. These things are good and profitable to men. These things are good. These things are good. And profitable to men. And profitable to men. Amen. Read. But avoid foolish questions. Yes. And genealogies. Yes. And contentions. Yes. And strivings about the law. And those questions are never ending. Amen. It's not profitable unto you. You're going to avoid these things. People, people have questions all the time. I remember back when I, when I was younger, I was trying to bring my, my friend, one of my best friends, into the faith. And he was just totally against it because his father had a lot of input in his life, which I was to expect that, of course. And, uh, He's one of those, one of those people. Who's like, well, you know, if, I got three questions for you. If you can answer these three questions, then I'll join join your faith. They, to me, they didn't really sound like him. But it was a, his father was giving these these questions. He's like, is it possible for Yahweh to create a rock that was impossible for for him to to pick up? What does that have to do with salvation? <laughs> Avoid those kinds of questions. Doesn't make any sense. Like why? Why would I even entertain that? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, he's Yahweh Almighty. Why would he need to make a rock that he can't pick up? There's no purpose to that. <laughs> I just wanted to walk away at that point. Just I'm done. But I still try, I was still trying to bring him in. I'm still trying. I said that doesn't even mean anything. Just let's come on in and just serve Yahweh together. He was hearing none of that. I had to let him go. Hallelujah. Amen. Because me being around him, I would become just like him. Yeah. I've had those type of questions in my mind. Right. That I've been somebody out there just confused and just for, without a cause. Yeah. Just asking questions for no reason, for no purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I think Yahweh that my father was sober enough to tell me the truth about my friend. Hallelujah. Amen. Because sometimes we, we, get, we, we build up these relationships in our life. And it could destroy us in the end. Yes, Lord. How he, he wasn't really a true friend, even though I knew him since second grade. Didn't make him a, didn't make him a, a true friend of mine. Because when it comes to this knowledge here, Amen. yeah, he was anti. He was definitely against what the Messiah stood for. How he, he opposed himself. Amen. So I don't want to spend no more time with him. I had to break that tie. 
Did it hurt in the beginning? Yes, it did. It did hurt. It hurt it for a little while in the beginning. But you know what? I came through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Find ourselves gaining, gaining ground, but we have to be careful how we maintain good works. Amen. Amen. Read it. But avoid foolish questions. Yes. And genealogies. Yes. And contentions. Yes. And strivings about the law. Read. For they are unprofitable and vain. Yes. A man that is a heretic. Yes. After the first and second admonition, reject. Yes. Knowing that he knowing that he that is such is avert, subverted. Yes. And sins. And sins. Being condemned of himself. Yes. When I start sending Ar Artemis to you. Let's go back a chapter. Let's go to chapter two. The first verse? Yes. Titus 2 and 1. Titus 2 and 1. For it is written. Yes. But speak to you. Yes. The things which are fitting for sound doctrine. Yes. That the aged man be sober. See, I believe what we receive here is a sound doctrine. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. All those other churches that I was a part of. So, well, you may be exaggerating. No. Every single church that I, was, that I attended myself, they were not teaching sound doctrine. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, some of the doctrine was true, but overall, they were not preaching sound doctrine. Yeah, right. Amen. And the reason why I say that because I was still in my sins. Yeah. What they were preaching to me was not saving myself from sins. They were just smooth things. Hallelujah. Things that felt me felt made me feel comfortable in my sins. Because Yeshua's blood covered everything. So why change? I was telling some of the brethren uh, last service, I think it was Sunday, I was, I was speaking to them saying that I watched a movie, me and my wife watched a movie based off of, uh, what was his name, Carlton Pearson, and he was a Pentecostal preacher, and he was under another preacher, and he was, he said that God, God spoke to me and told me that there's no hell out there, there's no hell, and so he ended up losing half of his members, and so I mean, as I'm watching the movie, I'm sitting there like, what's he talking? About. What do you mean there's no hell? What? You can't say stuff like that. But he's, I mean, he's pretty, he felt like God was talking to him. And the one that was above him said, Are you sure it was God that told you that? Yeah. <laughs> sure it was God that told you that. <laughs> and I had, to, I had to agree. Like, Are you sure it was God that, talk, that told you that? Yeah. I talked about within myself. I agreed with that. Because right, right. some things that we hear yeah. is not really Yahweh yeah. speaking unto yeah. us. Yeah. It's Satan trying to get the best of us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I want you to adhere to what he's saying so he may mix a lie in with that. Yeah, yeah. So, well, that, that is true, though. And all of a sudden, now, now you find yourself you know, dwelling on that, and now you can't get past that one point in your life. Yes. Right, right. And that messes up everything else for you in your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 See, if I would have thought when Apostle Washington told me to, to get the job that I'm at today, if I would have felt like Apostle was telling me to tell me a lie, then I never would have followed that. That I would never be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. But first of all, I'm, I'm not receiving his word that he's sharing with me. That's, right. that's the reason. What's the first, first and foremost, that's the reason why I wouldn't be blessed. Amen. Because I'm, 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 I'm avoiding the man of God, what he's telling me. Like, why would I, at this point in my life, why would I say no to what he's saying? Amen. When everything else was true Amen. about me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that when you, when you hearken to Satan one, in one little point in your life, it messes up everything else. Amen. It causes you to mess up everything else in your life. Amen. Because at this one point, you're like, well, you know, I think he was wrong in that area. Right. Then you, you apply that same mentality to everything else. Right. Well, what if he was wrong about, about adultery? What, was he, what if he was wrong about fornication? Right. What, if, what if he's wrong about, you know, about working, uh, you know, working a good job? Uh -huh. <laughs> These one points in your life, you have doubt. And you apply it to everything else. Yeah. Now your whole life is messed up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. But see, I think Yahweh, because he, he allows us to really to examine what we hear. Yes. So y'all open up my heart. Open up my understanding, Hallelujah. Yahweh. Yes, Amen. Lord. Give me the ability to understand what the Apostle Washington is trying to share with Amen. me. Because yes. I don't want to go against the man of God. I don't want to do that. I want to find myself in that stead. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. If I'm going to do this thing, I want to do it for real. Yes, Lord. I want to be a true soldier of Yeshua and Messiah. Amen. That's what I want in my life. Hallelujah. I want to find the power of Yahshua and Messiah. Amen. I believe that he existed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I know that his words are true. Yeah. And I know this thing is not about man. As far as, you know, it's not about man's doctrine that is. Amen. It's about saving mankind. Amen. But it's not about man's doctrine. Yes. This thing is from Yahweh himself. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe that 100%. Hallelujah. That's why I chose 
to follow Apostle Washington. Amen. Not because my father told me. Not because he's my father-in-law. Yeah. Right, right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm, in this, I'm in this place because I want salvation. Amen. Although the truth is spoken in this place. Yes. When all those other places didn't, whatever the words they shared, they shared with me didn't have no effect in my life. Hallelujah. I never looked at myself one time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But the first, the, first, the first footstep I took in this place caused me to examine myself. Hallelujah. So Yahweh, help me, Yahweh. Help me, help increase my understanding, Yahweh. Yes, Father. Help me to be careful to maintain good works. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reezy. But speak to you. Yes. The things which are fitting for sound doctrine. Yes. That the aged man be sober. The aged man be sober. Devout. We need our aged man to be sober. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need the aged man to be sober. Amen. Yes, Lord. We have an adversary. Amen. We need our aged man to be sober. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read. Devout. Devout. Temperate. Temperate. Sound in faith. Yes. In charity. Yes. In patience. Yes. The aged women likewise. The aged women likewise. That they be in behavior. That they be in behavior. That becomes holiness. That becomes holiness. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Not giving to much wine. Yes. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. Amen. Read it. That they may teach the young women to be sober. Yes. To love their husbands. And see, so we need that in the church. Amen. Amen. Everything that was stated right here, we need all these things. Yes, Lord. Every single one of these things is important. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When I married my wife, we avoided a lot of things because of the things she was taught Amen. from her mother. Amen. A lot of things we avoided. Hallelujah. So I didn't have to worry about my wife not cooking or not ironing. Or not. I had to worry about all that stuff. Amen. Because it was already established in the household Amen. that she came from. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the same thing goes for our households Amen. today. Yes. We have to establish Every word, hallelujah. hallelujah. If you want structure in your household, right. these things have to be set in order. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. A lot of things I don't have to go through because the household she came from was things are already set in order. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So we're going gonna, we're gonna to avoid a lot of hurt and harm if we just do the right thing yes. for one another. Yes. Read it, T. That they may teach the young men, women to be sober. Yes. To, to love their husbands. Yes. To love their children. That's my wife. She loves me. I feel the love. Hallelujah. I feel the love for my wife. Amen. When she went on that vacation, I don't know who was up here who was talking. It might have been Apostle Sanford. Speaking about his wife, saying that when she comes back, he, he, he made sure he cleaned up after himself. He made sure he did that for his wife. My wife, when she was gone, thanks, Karen. Appreciate that. When my wife came back, I made sure all the dishes were done. <laughs> she didn't have to clean up when she got home. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I love my wife that much. Amen. I appreciate what my wife does. Hallelujah. I really do. Hallelujah. Yes. But we, we can only show love that way. Through our actions. Yes. So me telling her every day, I love you. Me uh, waking up early in the morning and giving her a kiss before I leave. Yeah, I love you. But I had no actions behind it. They're just words. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But I don't want this thing to be just about words. There's no power in just in words, Amen. but in deeds. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Read it, see. To love their children. To love their children. To be discreet. And I can say on my wife's behalf, she loves my children. Amen. She Amen. loves our children. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make sure they're fed. Make sure they're taken care of. We, on both of, our, both of our hands, we'll make sure we're doing things for our children. Amen. Taking time out for them. I'm very familiar with this flesh. Yeah. We're all familiar with the flesh. Yeah. The deeds of the flesh. We're very familiar with the deeds of the flesh. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't feel like getting up, are you going to get up? No. <laughs> if you don't feel like being nice today, are you going to be nice today? No. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there has to be a greater power in your life that you're subject to. Yeah. Rather than your flesh. Yeah. It has to be through Yahshua Messiah. Yeah. It has to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the only way that me and my wife perform for our children is through Yeshua Messiah. Amen. Thank God for the teaching that's found here in the house of Yahweh. Amen. How we're supposed to be as parents. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're coming up here to sing. We're taught how to be parents. Hallelujah. Make sure that it's putting them as, as young children. I have to do it first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So me being shy and didn't really want to sing when I first got here. Like, ah, Dad, that's not for me, Dad. I don't feel like doing that. I'm, I'm bigger than that, Dad. I don't want to do that, so. That's for you. You've done that for many years. That's, that's good for you. 
that's that's me. Right. Speaking about my father, hallelujah, Amen. when I first got here. Amen. But I learned the Messiah's ways, hallelujah. Amen. It was embedded in me throughout the years hearing the word coming forth. Have a song that's to praise your God, hallelujah. hallelujah. Have your own works. I was taught that as a young man. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And I'm still receiving the same words today. Amen. Just in case my flesh gets the best of me. Hallelujah. 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 It's part of our salvation. Y'all is too good. Hallelujah. hallelujah. He has blessed me tremendously. Hallelujah. And I don't make that statement just because we have a big house. Amen. Or we got two cars. I'm not saying that. Amen. Look past that. Hallelujah. It's much more greater than that. Amen. You don't see the real reason I'm saying I'm blessed. I could have been dead. Hallelujah. Amen. I could be homeless today. Amen. 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 Yeah. I could be unmarried today. I could have lost my whole family in one, one, one point in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Could have been wiped out. Amen. You know, when, I, when the doctors told me I had MS, that could have been the end-all, be-all situation. Amen. I could be in a wheelchair today. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm blessed today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. Amen. Look past everything else. I'm blessed. I'm breathing today. I'm blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. I have all the activities on my limbs. I'm blessed. I can walk up here on my own will. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't look, don't look at other things that say this, uh, that's dangling in front of your eyes. Yeah, you do have that two-story house. Yeah, you got the two cars. Yeah, you got that nice job. Look past that. That's not, that has not been about our life. Hallelujah. That just came with obedience. We wasn't praying, Yahweh, please give us a double, uh, two-story house. Please, please give us two cars. Please, we were not praying that. That's never been the message. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All that came through obedience. All those things came through obedience. Hallelujah. Yeah, you can have the same thing. Hallelujah. There's nothing special about me. Nothing special about my wife. We have to adhere to Yahweh, what he wants of us. Amen. And we have to be obedient to what he says. Amen. Read it, Z. Yes. To be discreet. To be discreet. Chaste. Yes. Keep us at home. And all those, all those, all those things was embedded in my wife as a, as a, as a, as a child of Sister Karen, Amen. as her daughter. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we can all be the same way as far as, you know, as far as having these, these women are set up. These elderly women are set up to say, look, be like this child. Amen. Don't be like that, but be like this. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now, I'm not an old man. But as far as being a bishop, I have to, uh, I have to speak these things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need these things in the church. Hallelujah. These things are important in our life. Hallelujah. I did not have structure as a young man growing up. Amen. Amen. I was quitting jobs like, 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 like hotcakes. <laughs> and, and I was coming from a small town. And you talk about those very... The classifieds was like maybe one sheet of paper and a little section in my hometown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But here in Dallas, you have multiple pages of jobs, plethora of jobs going on. But in my hometown, I'm just quitting jobs. Like, did you know there's other people in the, in the same town as you that are trying to get jobs? I'm going to go ahead and quit. I'm, just, I'm done. He, he spoke to me wrong. I'm done. I ain't got to take this. I'm done. Had no structure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I think Yahweh came to a place that's set up where the word goes forth to show us young men to be strong. Amen. To take on this mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The mind of the Messiah. So today, now I have structure in my life. Amen. I have structure today. Hallelujah. Because of the words that's preached in this place. Hallelujah. The words that's preached in this place is Yahshua the Messiah. Hallelujah. The way that he set up the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Yahweh for Apostle Washington not keeping anything back from us. Amen. Amen. Nothing. Are they ever lying to us? Hallelujah. 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 Walking the straight and the narrow. Seeing a perfect man in my life. Amen. I thank Yahweh for that example. Amen. When my flesh doesn't even want to look. I say, no flesh. I got to see it. Amen. You got to get behind me Amen. with Satan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got to see the, the perfect man walking before me. Amen. I got to mark after his walk. Yes, Lord. Gonna be found in the same stead as him. Yes. We're not glorifying him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The deeds that he does is through Yeshua Messiah. Amen. Amen. 
Showing that it's, it's, it's very capable for a man of flesh of ours, just like us, Amen. to walk perfect in this planet. Amen. We need that example in our life. Amen. You may hate his words, hallelujah. Amen. But you really need those words, though. Amen. You need every word that he says. As much as you hate it, as much as it, it bends you backwards. But you need every word that he says. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I've chosen to follow that same man I'm speaking about. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Many, many times I have to cry because my own will, I don't want to do it. But you best believe I'm going to end up doing it because I want salvation. Hallelujah. That's what I want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see Apostle Walker. I see his walk. The words that he shares, he's not sharing with us anything he's not doing already. That's why I can receive those words so easily. I may have to cry. Yeah, I may have to do that. I may have to go on my knees and pray all night long to find the strength to perform the words that he shared with me. Read it, Z. Read. To be discreet. To be discreet. Chaste. Chaste. Keep us at home. Keep us at home. Good. Good. Obedient to their own husbands. The other day on the job, I was uh, making a delivery, and they had some kind of problem with the paperwork. So I had a little bit more time to wait for them to, to finish up with me. And there was a driver to my left. He's from he's from Mexico, <clears throat> and he was an older he was an older gentleman, and uh, he was having problems shutting his doors. He had one of those container trailers that the ones that are kind of hard to shut. I saw him over there struggling. <laughs> my flesh said, "Don't look over there too long because you don't want to go over there and do something about it." <laughs> I was like, "Let me get out of this truck and see what he, see if he needs some help." I went over there directly to him. I said, sir, you need some help? Oh, yeah, I can use some help. Ended up helping him out. You know, we, we together was able to get one door shut and then fight to get the other door shut. And I said, <laughs> and yeah, there was, there was heat out there. There was hot. You know, everybody here knows. Oh, yeah. But I was like, I got to have works. Yeah. Oh, man. I, it's not good enough just to be up here and just tell people what to do, but I got to have works. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. So even though he's a stranger to me, but we, we're really not strangers. I'm trying to plant a seed with him. I let him know we have a ministry going on in Mexico. Let him know about Pukula. Hallelujah. Altupla, all those things, La Morta, all those things out there, the places out there, we're going out that way. Mexico City. Hallelujah. Let them know that this is what we're doing. Amen. So we have a chance to, to spread this gospel. Why not take the chance to spread the gospel? Yeah. You don't know what's going to turn out from that. Right. Read it, Z. To be a discreet. To be discreet. Chaste. Yes. Keep us at home. Keep us at home. Good. Good. Obedient to their own husbands. Yes. Let the word of God be not blasphemed. That's the process. That's, that's it right there. That's the key. You don't want this word to be blasphemed. Amen. 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 Your walk should be so, so sincere that you don't want the word of God to be blasphemed. Amen. The very thing that you believe in, your whole makeup about yourself, you don't want that to be blasphemed. Hallelujah. All the power, you're going to have all the power stripped away by your own doing. Yes. Tell people to walk up right. All of a sudden they see you slacking on the job. Yeah. Yeah. Disrespecting the boss. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you just took all the power away from yourself. Because yes, next time you may go back to that same person and say, you know, you got to walk, walk up perfect. Uh -huh. oh, oh, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, sir, hold on. Wait, you tell me to walk up perfect, but I saw you disrespecting the boss the other day. Amen. They'll be quick to throw that in your face. Hallelujah. We don't want the word of God to be blasphemed. Amen. We do not want that. Read it. Young men likewise. Young men likewise. Exhort to be sober minded. Don't you, don't, okay, young men. Don't you realize how, how, how much the Spirit has been trying to exhort you? Hallelujah. When we were younger, the Spirit was always on us. My father was always on me. Son, a young brother doesn't behave himself this way. Like, why are you so jealous? What's, what's, what's the problem? What's wrong with you? Dad, I don't know, Dad. I just really don't. I don't know. Something's wrong up here. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. I was shaped this way. I'm sorry, Dad. I was, I was shaped, shaped this way. <laughs> Son, you gotta, look, there's it's more to life. You're going to the whole spill. There's more to life. Okay. But as a young man, coming to a place that's right. exhorting us. Yeah. You need that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, if you want to see a lot of times we look towards the world and say, well, they don't get, they don't get all that out there and they're, they're doing all kinds of things out there and there's nothing happening to them. Yeah, but they don't know the God that you serve. Hallelujah. We know of Yahweh. 
You don't realize how much that means to an individual who knows this world is corrupt. Amen. This is it's like a diamond in the rough here. You got a precious pearl that you found and you want to hide it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't want to just carry it carelessly because you know it's of worth. Amen. It has value to it. Amen. This right here, the word, is perfecting me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, when I maintain your words, it's perfecting me on my journey. Amen. It's keeping me from all hurt and harm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I find it to become precious in my life. Amen. I need it the more so every day when I wake up. I need the word. Hallelujah. 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 It's going to help me to be, be sober-minded. Because believe me, in a fast-paced world, a lot of things pop up in your life that want you to cause you to go astray, yeah. to blow up on people. Hallelujah. Especially when you're dealing with like transportation. People are always cutting in front of you. And you want to give them you know, sign language. You want to show them what forward, all, where they can go, and how they, the shortcut to get there. This, this body of mine wants to be angry all the time. This give me a reason to be angry. I said, I can't walk that way no more. Hallelujah. Because I've been caught to a, with a holy calling. I thank my Heavenly Father Yahweh for His grace. Read Ezekiel. Read. Young men, likewise. Likewise. Exhort to be sober-minded. Exhort to be sober-minded. Amen. Because we could be, as a young man, you could be very rash. Impatient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was very impatient. As a young, young, as a young brother here, I was very impatient. So well, you don't move that fast. Well, yeah, I used to, and I was very impatient. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. I didn't want to wait for anybody else. Yeah. But at the same time, Yahweh was patient with me. Yeah. Now I find myself being more patient with individuals. Amen. Take the time out to explain myself. Amen. You can ask my wife, I don't like I don't like repeating myself. Yeah. I don't. I, there's one thing that just irks me is just repeating myself. I feel like I'm just talking to myself. That, that can become very, I don't like doing that. Amen. My wife said, what did you say? When we're right here, I'm, me and my wife about this far, this distance right here, I'm telling her something. She's like, what did you say? That's all I see when she says, what did you say? And I feel like she's doing it on purpose. Amen. And I want to scream. <laughs> I'm like, you, you're too busy, you can't understand. You're not even listening to what I'm saying. <laughs> We're away from each other all day long. And I'm trying to share something with you. And you, you do, huh? What was that? <laughs> when are you not listening to what I just said? Then it takes me back to my father. <laughs> with me. <laughs> but they always was always talking to us all the time. And I said, what'd you say, Dad? And that, that was it. My dad was like... <laughs> So I should only have to say say things one time to you, and that's it. But the one thing with my father was that when he come to the room, he would explain things to us. He would walk away. And then he'd be in the kitchen, still talking. And I'm like, I'm looking at Bobby, like Bobby, did you understand anything that Dad just said? He said, No, I hear, I hear anything. Then I had to be one to get up and go in there. And take the blunt, like, Dad, look, we didn't hear anything you said. And he get mad at us. <laughs> it wasn't even our fault. You walked away. <laughs> You're the one walking away. Don't you understand? When you walk away, you got to get louder with your voice. No, you just Son, next time we took the trash out, make sure you just go That's all I hear in the kitchen. I was supposed to get up and follow, right? But what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that. No, I don't want to do that. Gotta know what comes after that. We just read on. In all things, showing yourself a pattern of good works. So we have to show ourselves a pattern of good works. Amen. We have to continue to prove ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's always a better way to do things. Amen. There's always a respectful way to, to answer somebody. Amen. You can always answer somebody with a soft answer. Amen. You, have, you gotta get loud and get in their face. You don't have to do all that. No. That's not even needed. No. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you have to learn one another as long as. As long as you're working with one another, you can learn one another's ways. Yeah. Some people, they can't hear. Sometimes, sometimes people can't hear. They've done so, so many things in their life that's dull, dulling their hearing. You have to talk loud to them sometimes. So that in order for them to hear. Hallelujah. But through this, these times that, that when you feel things are getting heated, that's, that's what I'm talking about as far as having a soft answer. Because it turns away wrath. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read and see. In all things, showing yourself a pattern of good works. In all things, 
Amen. He said in all things, yeah. you're going to show a pattern of good works. Yeah. Amen. And what good works are we speaking about here? The things that we're taught. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Many things that come across this pulpit, many of things. Yeah. You've got to make sure that you're proving yourself in those Amen. areas. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if you're not working on yourself to that extent, you won't be here long. Amen. You won't find no joy in serving Yahweh. Amen. Then before you know it, brother so-and-so's gone. Sister so-and-so's gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been here for going on 21 years. I see many people leave, come and go. Amen. And, and every time they leave, it hurts me. Hallelujah. Amen. My heart hurts as they walk away. Amen. Because I know what this place stands for. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, I don't know their heart, though. There's only one that knows their heart. Amen. And that's Yahweh. Amen. He knows if they're truly his or not. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe he has a plan for them. And maybe later on in life, they'll come back to the faith. Amen. Only Amen. Yahweh knows these things because he's, he judges the heart and the heart by itself. Amen. Read on, Z. In doctrine. In doctrine. Sowing soundness. Yes. Gravity. Yes. Sincerity. Read. Sound speech that cannot be condemned. Sound speech that cannot be condemned. Amen. Read. That he that, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed. So you can walk in such a way to where your brethren who's not walking in such a, walking obediently, you can walk in a way that causes them to be ashamed of their ways. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So I want to walk in a way that people say, hey, look, he's serious about serving Yahweh. I saw my father do it. I seen Apostle Washington do it. And I see the bishops are doing it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to walk just like they're walking. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want respect in this place, a certain way you got to walk. Yes. Amen. Yes, a certain way you got to conduct yourself. Amen. The Apostle Paul, he's dealing with it. Read on. That he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed. Yes. Have no evil thing to say of Having you. Have no evil thing to say of you. Amen. Read it. Resort servants to be obedient to their own masters. Yes. And to please them well in all things. Yes. Not answering again. Read. Not embezzling, but showing all good fidelity. Yes. That they may be, that, that, that they may adorn the good... The doctrine of good of <laughs> that they may adorn the doctrine of God. Yes, our Savior in all things. See, otherwise, this word that goes forth, you should be putting it on on a day to day basis. Amen. Show people that you're serious about serving God, serving Yahweh. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't let the don't let your mouth do the talking. Amen. Let your deeds do the talking. Amen. What are you showing the world out there? Amen. Going around saying, "I'm a child of God." <laughs> I know something I'm not. I am that you're not. Right. I'm blessed. <laughs> no, you don't need that. Show forth your works, Amen. your deeds. Amen. Be different on the job. Amen. Be different at school. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's funny because when I was when I was a young kid, I, I didn't want to be like everybody else. No, I'll put it this way. I wanted to be like everybody else in a certain form and fashion. Coming here in the house of Yahweh, we got to stick out in the world. Amen. We got to show them that there is a difference between me and you. There's a difference. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. We have a neighbor. She came over the other day. Miss Barbara. She came over. She, she, wanted, she wanted to find out how we're doing. How, you know, how's things going for us on this side of the block? <laughs> on this side of the block. And I thank y'all for her. But the flesh. <laughs> See, I was over mine, but the flesh wants to react differently. You realize I just got off of work? I just pulled up in the driveway, got inside the house, and here she goes. We in the we in the window? There's no way you so there's no way. I mean I don't have I don't have a sawed off sawed off muffler in the back of my car. You can't even hear my car driving in the driveway. So you had to be looking out. As soon as I close the door. How'd you know that? How'd you know that, Apostle? How'd you know that? Amen. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. Flesh is upset. <laughs> I just, I just got. I'm like Peter. We just, we just pulled in. Talking about cast, casting us on the other side. He don't want to go back. I just came back in. I'm like Lord. But we had to show love. We profess to be so-called Christians. Hallelujah. We're believers of Yeshua Messiah. So when she comes around, we, we show forth that love. My wife, she's in the, she was in the kitchen. She was 
get things together. She's talking with her. And they're having an exciting time in the kitchen. And my mind, and according to the flesh, I'm like, I don't really need to stress. I want to just get, relax and just, no, just wait. Let the love be shown like it's supposed to be shown. And we're trying to rush her out. Well, look at the time. Time for you to go. Can't be like that. I know she's not a saint, but at the same time, she's still going to show love. Hallelujah. Even like on, on our jobs, there's a certain way we have to conduct ourselves. Yeah. <clears throat> My job, they had uh, required me to come in at a later time for some reason. I really don't know why. But I plan on finding out why. I had, I had requested to come in at a certain time at 7 o'clock. Well, they moved me back down, moved me down to 8 o'clock. And I don't, they said, well, we need you to cover Waco. But since they moved me to 8 o'clock, I haven't done Waco one time. Right. <laughs> so I don't see, the, me, myself, I don't see the purpose yet. So, when they when they come when they come to me with this information, my flesh doesn't want to re, doesn't want, wants, wants to react in a certain way. No, I ain't doing that. <laughs> you got me messed up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Won't come in tomorrow. Watch. I'll show you. I'm not coming in tomorrow. Uh-huh. That's, yeah, just like everybody else. Uh-huh. I'm not doing it again. Uh-huh. Call me. Call me if you want to. Uh-huh. I don't behave myself that way. Uh-huh. I see too many things turn out. For the worst, yes, when people conduct themselves that way yes, on this planet, not just my job, but on the planet. Yes. Hallelujah! Yes, I'm not trying to fight with nobody. Amen. I'm trying to make peace with all men. The most of that lies within me. I'm trying to live this. I'm trying to live my life peaceably with all men, yes. especially to those of the household of faith. Yes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Showing that you can live this life according to a peaceful way. Amen. You don't have to be violent about everything. You got to be hostile about everything. Why are you so mad all the time? You don't have to be mad all the time. Find peace in Yahshua Messiah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what I have done. Coming to serve Yahweh was the best thing in my life. Changed my life 180 degrees. Hallelujah. I was walking a certain way at one point in my life. Came across Yahshua Messiah. Applied it to my life. Now I'm walking this direction now. Hallelujah. I want to find myself different with everybody that I, that I meet on this planet. Amen. Because that's the calling of Yeshua Messiah. So say that's my time. I thank you all for the words. Amen. Let us be careful how we maintain good works. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Continue to pray for the children's household. We can continue to pray for you. Let us all stand and rise and we bring forth the next preacher. Let us all receive Pastor Bills by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. You may be seated. I thank Yahweh for for his goodness. I want to say thank Yahweh for the man of God that I, I labor among, special Apostle Washington and the other apostles and bishops. I want to give Yahweh all the glory and praise this day because he's, he's worthy to be praised. Thank him for my beautiful wife that's been by my side since I've been in church over 20 some years. Thank Yahweh for my children, my grandbabies. Amen. Most of all, thank Yahweh for, for y'all. Thank Yahweh for Mexico, the, the work that's going down there. Amen. And uh, in Lubbock and in Arlington. Amen. I too was watching the word today. A Tuesday night service. I watched it two times. Amen. And I was listening to Apostle say some things about the work that he labored for. Amen. And Amen. I listened to it the first time and I said, no, I got to listen to it again. And the second time I listened and I caught something in there. Because you can watch it one time and you only get some of the information. So I watched it the next time and he said something that to my attention. He said, me and my wife, we labor in this way. Amen. Make, I made six figures. I helped the church. I didn't brag about it. We just did it. We went broke. Now that I, I'm not working, so my son 
he sends us eleven, twelve hundred dollars a month. Amen. So I'm not able to work. And I caught, I caught my attention. I said, you know what? I can do better. It does. He has not changed. Amen. He did not let that distract him. Amen. He's still performing. Yes. He's still performing the work that he set out that Yahweh gave him. And I said to myself, you know what? I can do better. I'm going to do better. Yeah. True. One hundred percent true. Sometimes you you get on these jobs and they give you raises and stuff, and you say, "Well, I can do this with this kind of money. I can do this with this kind of money." Get sidetracked because you get a raise, or you they bump you up to a, a, a different position on the job. You forget. Yeah, you think about yourself or forget all about the work of the ministry. Forget all about your brothers and sisters that's in Mexico. Amen. Forget that you just went there. Yes. And then you labored with them. You saw how poor they were. But you forget all about that because you're not thinking about that. Now you're thinking about, hey, I'm getting a raise. I'm getting, I'm getting a promotion. Amen. And when he said that, when Apostle said that he made six figures, I say, wow, I didn't know that. I knew he labored, but I didn't know he was making six figures. He took care of the church for years. Yeah. He, he he took care of the church. He didn't broadcast that. Like, that was me that took care of the church. I did. Me and my wife, we did that. No, he didn't broadcast himself like that. Yes. He, he, he. he. Yes. He, he was looking on the other needs of other people. And what I'm trying to say. And that's what the Spirit is trying to get us to do. Look on the needs of your brothers and sisters. Then the one that's in need. He said something else in there. He said, one of the kids said, uh, he said, Apostle, I, I've changed since we came back from Mexico. I can't. I can't. Yes. Yeah. He said, going there helped me to realize how, how, how I'm blessed. It. That I'm like, you know, that's amazing how you can go be in somebody else's shoes and see someone else that don't have. But you got it. You have it. They don't. And he said some answer. He said, you know what? When he tried to help them, they said, no. No, we can't take it. Apostle said, I am not trying to uh, 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 buy your love. I'm here to help you. I'm only doing what God told me to do. And the same thing with Spirit saying here. We're only telling y'all to help. We're not trying to buy y'all love and force y'all. We're not. We're not. We we're not y'all lordship. Yeah. Leave the others. And so, so that's what the Spirit is trying to get us to do. To slow down. To slow it down a notch. And think. Think. Because time is running out. Tomorrow's not promised. Yes. He said every year they come to him. Every year. Every year. You didn't hear me. Every year. And say, Apostle, here's our income tax. Whoever it may be. Every year. Now, that's love. That's love. Every year? And you can't do that? To help this family? Or help whoever's in need? Now, come on, saints. Come on. They do that every year. They sacrifice. That's a sacrifice. That's a sacrifice. And you here, you just do the minimum. The basic. He gave another example. He said, He's not working, but the money he get, he still pay his tithing. Yeah. But here you get ten thousand dollars, but you only put two thousand in there. That's not a sacrifice. Amen. That's not a sacrifice. That's that's he, he's yes. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> but that's just, but but what I'm trying to say is you doing the minimum, Amen. just to get by. 
But that, no, he, he wants you to do your best. Yeah. He said, if we were to pay our tithing offering, yeah. we wouldn't have to do fundraisers. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. Because you don't pay your tithing offering like you're supposed to. We have to go out there in that heat, yeah. in that sun, that you really don't want to do. You have to force yourself to do that. Just to get more money so that he can go down there. You, yeah. He used uh, 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 Ananias and Sapphira. They, they gave, but they didn't get their best. They, 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 they was, they, but they, in the end, they died. Both of them. She died and he died. Being, being not being honest. Trying to be tricked, trying to trick God. God looking right at him. He looking right at him. Yeah. In Malachi, will a man rob God? In tithing and offering? That's what we do? When you don't pay your tithe and offering like you're supposed to. You know you got it. Don't say you don't got it. You know you got it. You work right. You got it. You got it. We, we can do better. We can do better. Let's go get that. Hallelujah. Malachi. Well, uh, man, Rob God. Praise him. Yes. Uh, when I was uh, at the store the other day, uh -huh. and, and Yahweh, he was showing it to me. He said, Why, we can go to the store, and we can pick up this snack. We can pick up that snack. Uh -huh. You get to the cash register, it costs you 50 bucks uh -huh. of snacks. Yeah. Waste. But you can't you can't even give that to Yahweh. Waste. Yeah. That's right. That's so right. true. We can waste more money on junk food uh -huh. than to take that money and give it to the Lord. Yeah. You got to have your donuts, your ding dong, your Twinkies, your Oreo cookies. Uh -huh. So in the middle of the night you can snack on. <laughs> Shame on you. Shame on us. You got to have your ding-dongs. Come on now. You heard me. You, you heard me. You got to have your ding-dongs and your ice cream. Zeke, what it said? Malachi 3 and 1. Hey, Amen. Malachi 3 and 1. What is written? Behold, yes, uh -huh. I will send my messenger. No, jump on to 8. I'm sorry. Malachi 3, three and 8. eight. Malachi 3 and 8, for what, it was written. What did it say? Will a man rob God? No. Now, is he asking a question here? Amen. He's asking a question. Amen. Ask yourself, will you rob God? If Amen. he was standing right here today, and he asked you, why you're not doing your best? Amen. Why you didn't bring your tithing offering like you're supposed to to me? Yes, why you robbed me? Amen. What would you say? Amen. Yeah, he's asking a question here. He said, he asked, he gets straight to the point. Will you walk, will you rob me in tithing offering? Amen. Now I'm trying to do a great work. I'm trying to get everybody saved before I get ready to destroy this world. But here you not doing your best. I bless you with the job. I, I put a roof over your head. Clothes on your back. But you're going to rob me? Now what would you say to God? What would you ask me if he said, he asked you that question? Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, you true. They, yeah, they asked the question. Yeah. Yeah, but you're doing it. Even though he's not here, but you're doing it. But you're doing it. Because we have to go out there and raise funds. So you're doing it. You're robbing him. You're not doing your best. You're not doing your best. Yeah. Yeah. And off. Now watch this right here. Some people want to go over there and can participate in buying snacks. That's not your offering. Don't use your money for that to be off. Say, well, I did participate. No, no. Don't do that. That's buying snacks. That's not your offering. But it's for the work of the ministry. No. 
tithing and offering. It didn't say participate using your tithing and offering for the go get some snacks. That's not your offering. Amen. That's extra. Yeah. He said we say snack money. That's what it's for. It didn't say tithing and offering. That's not what it's for. Amen. Don't that make sense? That's right. When you put your offering in there, you ain't getting nothing back. When you put your tithing in there, you ain't getting nothing back. When you go over there and buy snacks, you get something. You get a snack. That's why it's called a snack. But you go to the grocery store and buy all this, all your junk food. And then when you come to church, you don't have enough to participate over there. You got to get an IOU at that. You know the Spirit's telling you the truth. Amen. This ain't the first time you heard this. Amen. I've heard this since I've been in church. Amen. Will a man rob God? Amen. And tithe an offering. Yes. Will a man rob God? And tithe an offering. Amen. You didn't hear me. Will a man rob God and tithe an offering? Amen. Just if you try to be smart. Man or woman. Even the children that are working. Y'all too. Y'all don't get away either. Go ahead, Apostle. Amen. Uh, the way Apostle Washington explained it, mm -hmm. whenever he said he never taught it, necessarily didn't teach it to the Lubbock Saints yet. Mm -hmm. And for those of y'all, um, he made it real simple. He said the 10% represents your best. Mm -hmm. He said, but so that people don't get confused, just do your 10%. Yes. Yeah. And then, then give more later in your offerings. Yes. That's all he's saying. Just give your best. Then we don't have to keep preaching this. Will a man rob God? Right. There won't be no need. We won't be no need to be standing on that hot corner. Sisters, brothers, children. You can be in your air condition. You can have your weekends. You, you, you spend money on those birthdays. You spend quite a bit of money on birthdays. Right? Amen. Come on, I can't hear you, sisters. Amen. Right? Amen. But you want to go stand on the corner raising funds. That don't make no sense to me. Anything we can find pleasure than the, than the pay our best than the tithing and offering. We'll do that. We'll take a chance on that. Even, thank you, thank you, Apostle. Now, you're going to give a tip after you eat. But you come in here, you don't want to give your tithe and offering like you're supposed to. Amen. Now, come on, you're giving it to the sinners, you give them a tip. But when you come in here, you want to give an uh, offering? you getting fed. Now, that's natural food. This is spiritual food. You're getting, which is better, natural or spirit? Spiritual food is better. Amen. Even though that tastes good, but this can taste good too. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's read. What did it say? Well, the man robbed Yahweh. Uh huh. Yeah, you have robbed me. But you have robbed me. But you say. See, he's saying, but you're robbing me. Amen. Even though you're doing those things that please you, you're robbing me. Amen. You're robbing the work that I have set before you. I'm trying to. Save everybody before I come back. Yes. I'm trying to get everybody reconciled back to me before I come and destroy this world. Amen. But y'all not listening. Y'all robbing me. Yes. That's part of the salvation that you got to have in your book. Yes. When he opened that book, when you stand before him, you got to say, he got to read, say, yeah, you paid your tithing, you paid your offering. Faithfully. Yes. Amen. You got to be on your record. Hallelujah. You can't cheat God. Okay, Pastor Earl. Um, when me and Risa first got married, uh -huh. um, what we would do is uh, we were young and immature. So we would get our check, but we wanted to go to a restaurant so fast, go out, get some fast food or something like that or something that we wanted that we wouldn't sit down and write out our bills first 
And so when you do that, you take a big old giant chunk out of your check that you should have added up your tithing and your offering and all of that. And then you end up robbing God that way. Right. And uh, we grew up and we learned how to do it the right way. We've been doing it the right way for a long time. But there's so many things that we do when we're young and immature. Right. And if, if the spirit doesn't go forth the way it's going forth right now, that's got to be some of the reasons why the people are not paying their tithe and offering as they should because their belly is their God. Yes. And they're spinning up their check before they even sit down to balance that budget. Yes. Amen. Well said, Apostle. Well said. So you don't want to rob God. You do not want to rob him. Amen. He'll curse you. He'll touch your body. He don't have to kill you. He can because he's God Almighty. He'll bring you down. I know he brought me down. So don't say he won't touch your body. He don't have to kill you. He can keep you alive. Why you suffer? Why you still alive? To the day that he finally have to come back and get the ghost from you. Hallelujah. So don't play with God. Don't don't play with him. Do your best. That's all he adds. That's all that's required. Give what's due to him. Don't give everything due to man and then give him the leftovers. Don't be like uh, uh, Adam and uh, uh, Adam and Cain. Cain and Abel. I mean, not yeah. Cain and Abel. Don't don't be like them. Cain. Cain didn't give his best. Be like Abel, but not like Cain. That's what I'm trying to say. Y'all know the story. Let me slow down just a little bit. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. We can do this thing. Amen. We did it before. We, we Y'all went to Mexico. We went to Mexico. We did it. Right? So now we're back. We got plenty of time. Tonight we're going to see when we pay our tithing off. Not snack. Not snack. You can do that after you pay your tithing offer. But when we get ready to do tithing off tonight, we're going to see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right? Amen. We got to do better. We got to go to the next level. We have to. The church is right. Always going to be right. We got a lot of people, a lot of followers on Facebook. They're watching us. We got to excel in the other churches. We got to exceed better than them. We have to. And it starts with our tithe and offering. Especially in this area right here. Because we can't go nowhere and do nothing if we ain't got no, no money. We can have all the word we want. We can have all the scriptures. But without no money, we, can't, we ain't going to get too far. It takes finances. It takes money. Every, almost everything you do takes money today. Just good talking ain't going to get you there. You can't talk your way all the way to, to Mexico. Hallelujah. To a pecula. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Let's read. What does it say? Well, the man robbed God. Uh huh. Yet you have robbed me. Yes. But you say. But you say. Where, when have we robbed you? Uh huh. He asked another offers. question. He asked another question. Amen. What did you do with it? What did you do with the tithe and offering? Amen. Where is it? Amen. I don't see it. Where? Where? Amen. Where? Amen. Where? Amen. Where? What you do with it? I gave you a good job. I gave you roof, clothes. I feed you. Even when you're sick, I raise you up and bless you. Even when you, even when you didn't deserve it, I still blessed you. Yeah. I'm going to show you something else. All that stuff, all that food that we waste, we waste food. Mexico people, they, they, they don't waste food. They, they do not waste food. Amen. According to the report I got, they don't waste no food. That's right. 
But we race, we waste a lot of food. So all that money is going in the trash that could be put in your tithing offer. There's ways to pay your tithing offer. It's like Apostles uh, Hurley said to him and Risa. Yeah. They're being foolish at the beginning. Yes. They wasn't thinking. They right. were thinking about their belly. Yeah. They were thinking about that food, how it's going to taste. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> food do taste good. Don't get me wrong. I like food, too. It can be a little addictive. It can get, you can get hooked on. <laughs> Amen. I'm serious. You can get hooked on food. It can become your God, yeah. your belly, and everything else. Yeah. It will take over your money. Yes. Amen. Amen. You didn't hear me? It will take over your money. Amen. Yeah, if you, it, every, I'm going to give you an example. Every Sunday, every month, you go out at least two times out of the month. You go out. How much money is that? Give or take, you got family of five or family of four. Look how much money. And then you throw a tip on top of that. Look how much money don't went. That could be in the tithing offering. Not saying you can't do it, but if you pay your tithing offering, right, yeah, you can do those things. Yeah. Yeah. They can calculate your fast food that you do during the week. $10 here on this day. $5 on that. 20 on that day. Yeah. Especially if you don't fast. Now you don't make your belly your God because you're not fasting. Amen. Fast eating, not fasting. You got the two fasts mixed up. Fasting and eating, not fasting. Fast to eat, but not fasting when it comes to your spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah. You got everything on your phone. You got cable. Everything on your phone. You keep buying phones. Yes. Because you keep breaking them. That's money. Every time you turn around, you got a new phone. That's wasting. Yes, it is. Every time I see a person, didn't you just have a phone? Oh, I had to get another phone. Why you had to get another phone? Oh, I broke it. Duh. Too many shoes. Why you need all those shoes? Why do you have all those shoes in your closet or only hanging on your door? You don't need that many shoes. You didn't hear me. You do not need all those shoes. Come on now. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Money go quick. It, it's hard to make it, but it go quick. It's like, a, it's like when you strike a match. You blow it, it's gone. That's how fast that money can, can burn your hole in your pocket. And then you come to church, you ain't got nothing. You want to say, can I do IU? I'll pay you next week. How many times have we heard that? Can I do IU? And mo some of us don't pay it. They forget because they're not thinking about it. That lets you know where your mind is. Will a man rob God? That's why it says right here. Will you rob him? Amen. You're robbing God when you do that. Amen. Yeah. Not just in time offering you get you robbing, but you can rob him in, in, in snack money. When you say you get the snack. And something else. You let these kids go over there and they be taken. They don't come back and tell you. Ray Ray have to ask, did you did, did your mom or your daddy know you got this? And then some kids say no. Uh -huh. and then she said, "You need to go tell them." Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. That stuff costs money. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Stuff come up missing. Amen. Thank you, Yahweh. Stuff come up missing. Amen. And over there in them snacks, them kids over there helping themselves. <laughs> I seen it. I had to stop and say, did, "That's. Did your mom get you money?" Ask God, did your mom get you money? Yeah. Ezra, did your, dad, your mom, dad get you money? Amen. Malachi, did your, yeah. your mom, your dad get you money? I stop them and ask them. Yeah, you'd be too busy caught up in here 
not even paying attention to the kids out there and over there getting snacks. That's money for the work of the ministry. So it goes back to the scripture. Will a man rob God? You let your kids rob God. But you're the parent. We're supposed to be watching our kids while we're at church. The Spirit already don't got on us about that. Watch your child. I don't care if you're cleaning, you got duties. And you cleaning. Find someone that can watch your kid. When I say watch, I mean watch them. Not saying that they say they watch. No, you know that you go to someone that will watch your child. Amen. That you know that's going to watch your child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go. Keep going. You are cursed with a curse. Now, you don't want this to happen to you. You don't want to get on God's bad side. Because like I said at the beginning, he'll touch your body. Amen. He don't have to kill you. He can, but he don't have to. Amen. He'll make a sickness come on you and let you live another 20, 30 years while you got that sickness. And you be miserable, I don't know what. Yes. And you go to the doctors and do whatever, what, and they still ain't going to figure out. <laughs> he, he can no touch cure your finances. For it. Yeah, he'll touch your finances too. Amen. Yeah, I wonder why you always broke. That's the case of a lot of us. Amen. Not being true. Amen. We've been preaching that be honest. Yes. I'm, I had to learn to be honest. Amen. You have to be honest. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Honest, not to just man, but God, especially God. Amen. He the one that made you. Right. You're honest to him, then you're going to be honest to man. Right. It's just that simple, easy yeah. equation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't want no curse to come upon you or your house. Come on. You are cursed with a curse. You are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me. For you have robbed me. Even this whole nation. Even this whole nation. Bring you all the tithes. Now it says bring. You when all you the tithes. come tithe. to church, bring it. Bring it. Bring it. All. Not some. All. Your tithing and your offering. Yes. And if you want to get a snack, that too. At the end. Amen. That too. All of it. Amen. Thank you. And when your brother and sisters in need, help them too. Amen. Don't say you ain't got it. Right. You got a job, right? Amen. You have to work out your finances. Budget. If you budget right, uh, I know when we was on Southwest Third Street, a uh, situation came up. Y'all, y'all already know the situation. I'm gonna tell it anyway. Mother Torres, she was not using her money wisely. And uh, Apostle was prophet back then. He came to me and my wife. He said, I want you to help Mother Taurus with her finances. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She work at the same place I'm working. Now watch this. She didn't know how to say no to her kids. Plus, not on that, she had a problem with bread. Eating bread, too much bread. You don't need no three or four or five loaves of bread. And then the next three or four days, you say, I need some more money to go get some bread. Why you need money to go get bread? We just got groceries. You need money for bread again? So this is what I did. We sat down, me and my wife, we made a budget of her money. We gave her allowance. She got allowance, but we made a budget. We stuck to that budget, didn't we, didn't we huh? She got mad at me. She got mad at me and my wife, especially me. Because I said, okay, let's get in the car. We're going to go to the grocery store. Oh, no, I don't need you to go. Yes, I need some gas. No, I'll go with you to put the gas in. No, I don't need. She was getting furious with me because I was trying to help her to budget her money. Amen. Now, her kids didn't like it because we stopped all that. Amen. Now, if she gave her allowance money to the kids, I don't know. But I know at the end of the at the, at the end of the long uh, the, uh, when it was all said and done, she had five thousand dollars that she had saved up. That me and my wife helped her budget her money. 
5,000. Yeah, she kept coming to the church to pay this, to pay that, or I need this, or I need gas, or something. Yeah. But the church got tired. Sister, you can do better. What are you doing with your money? Why are you giving your money, all that money to your kids? Why are you eating it up? Why you have made your belly your God? So the church helped her. We helped her get on. To this day, she would tell you, thank you, Pastor Bill. I was Deacon then. Thank you, Deacon. And you and your wife for helping me because I've learned so much. I didn't like it at first. See, we're not going to like it like uh, 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 Avengers Children was saying. At the beginning, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard at first because you're not used to it. Amen. Now, if we went through that with everybody in church making a budget, we would know where your money's going. But don't nobody want to do that. Yeah, the church, like Apostle said, the church, ha we have already. We have the means. We don't have to do fundraisers. But if the church, if we did the budget like we did Mother Taurus, we wouldn't have to stand on them hot corners. Guarantee you. When nobody in here be lacking. We got enough people. I'm going to show you this. We're on Southwest Third Street. We raised over $1,000 just on our corner. Right, just walk right out the door. Amen. Don't tell me we can't do it. Amen. We can do it. Amen. We weren't robbing God. And it was just a few of us. Amen. It wasn't that me. We got more members now than we ever had. Amen. And we had money. I'm going to show you this. We raised over... $50,000 back to back. You know how I know? Because I had the books. $50,000 we raised two times in a row. Fundraiser. And so this is what Apostle did. He let these say, okay. We said, Apostle, can we take the kids to San Antonio? He said, if they get the money. So the kids raised the money, and he allowed us to go take the kids down there to San Antonio. And they had a wonderful time. See, don't tell me that you can't do it. Amen. I got witnesses. I got proof that it works. Amen. Amen. It works. Now, we're not going to go in there and say, okay, this is what we need. Every family to come up here, and we're going to do. We're gonna make a budget for y'all. No, we're not going to do that. We're, we're hoping that you will be wise, listen to the message, and take heed and go do it. Amen. Sit down. You and your spouse, or if you're just a single parent, and write all the things that you do, and then at the end, see how much your balance is. Amen. 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 Okay? Yeah. Amen. Once you do that, then you take what you got, and you take your allowance out, then you got enough money to pay your tithing off Amen. and snack. That's how you do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then you won't be robbing God. Then you won't be cursed. He don't have to touch your body. He don't have to touch your kids. He don't have to touch your finances. Take your job away. Put a sickness that's sickness on your body that you be in agony. Hallelujah. Everything go wrong. You seem like you'll never get hit. Amen. You're going to just stay at the bottom. Praise then the now you're going to want to quit and leave the church. Amen. And what the Spirit is trying to teach you, abide within your means. Yeah. Because uh, he was talking with Sister Samantha. Uh -huh. She wanted to have this big old baby thing. Mm -hmm. But he let her know that, baby, you can't do that. You you, you, you got jack-in-the-box money. You don't have state money. Right. You sure did. So she got to uh, abide within her means. And yeah. a lot of people want to go outside yeah. of what they're able to afford. Right. Right. You can't do. You your your fam, your 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 family will go lacking if you did that. Try to keep up with somebody else that's able to do it. Now everybody can't do like Avengers over here, right? You can't have that wicked spirit. He able to do it because he labored. The Lord bless him, him and Rachel. But you, didn't you hear the spirit say he bless you too? But if you can't pay, you can't be faithful to God, be honest with God, just with a little bit, then you show sure won't if he bless you a whole lot, like like them. You'd be more wasteful than anybody. Then you'd be coming to the church. 
Need money for your rent. Money to pay your electric. And so on. We don't want to do that, saints. We're trying to get ahead. We're trying to go to the next level. So that everything runs smooth. Because you heard Apostle when he was here when he last preached. He said, I'm not going to do this by myself. We get, Amen. When the time come, I'm going to send some brothers to Mexico. I'm not going to keep doing this. I'm gonna, Lord may send me somewhere else, but I'm going to send other bishops down there. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Is that what he said? Yes. He said. Amen. So, now, now, if he send bishops down there, what if he decides to say, okay, I'm going to leave those two bishops down there? Won't be the first time. He did it with Lubbock. Yes. Some of our, our brothers and sisters in Lubbock now, they live down there. They ain't here. They come to visit us, but they down there. He'll do the same thing in Mexico. Then what you go, that's less people. Now we really got to step it up. Now we really got to go twice as hard. But if we do it now, don't worry about where the money going. Apostle know what he's doing. He's proved himself to you. To us. Don't worry about the money. Where it's going. It's not going in his pocket. It's not going in your pocket. Believe me. Apostle, is a, he's a true man. He's an honest man. He knows he not to rob God. He knows if he robbed God, he knows what will happen. He's not going to take that chance. I don't want to take that chance. I don't want us to take that chance. Amen. A, a, apostle don't even know what's in the bank account. All he knows is he needs $6,000 yeah. to go down there. Yeah. 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 That's what he needs. And that's nothing if we, if we do what we're supposed to do. That's right. That's nothing. It sounds like a lot, but that's nothing. Yes. So true. <laughs> yes. All because obedient. If we all get on one accord, having the same mind as the Messiah, we can do it. This race won't be that hard. Hallelujah. Yahweh will bless us even more so. I told you a story that when you the Lord bless us, say y'all keep y'all income tax. Because we labored over there. And the Lord looked down upon us and said, y'all keep y'all income tax. I remember. The, 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 the saints was happy. The saints were happy. Because they didn't see that coming. We didn't see that coming. We, the Lord will do that again if we do what we're supposed to do. He will even turn around and bless us to be in a church if we get our minds right. Not just down there in Mexico. We can have a church here. If we get to mind God, what did we talk about that day about getting us to church? But you said what? He said, "This is what he said. If if I was able with this business, I would love for us to get a church. I would I would be willing to do half of it and the, the church do the other half. That's what he said. Yes, amen. That's the desire." It can only happen if you pay your tithe and offering. Amen. That's never gonna happen. I've heard people say, "If we," I heard people in the in the sanctuary, and I'm talking about here. Why we ain't got a church? Why we got to build a church in Mexico? I've heard that. I've heard that. All these years, we don't have a church. I'm telling you because this right here, you're robbing him. Why we give you a church? It took us how many years to leave from Southwest Third Street to get over here? It took too long. And now look, we're going right back like to Egypt. We had to, we had to have a contract to do lawn service. Just to help with the rent because we're not paying our tithing off like we should. We were getting robbed in that. He know it's worth more than that. 
He know that. Why everybody want to rob people? This nation has become a robbing nation. This nation has become a robbing nation. Now we need to take on this time in here to do our very best. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Yes, Lord. Read. Hallelujah. Bring you all the tithes in the, into the storehouse. Uh huh. That they may be meat in my house. Yes. And prove me now herewith. What? To, and what, prove what, what, me what? now herewith. He yeah. said, prove me. That means you got to do something. It's action. You have to put action behind that. Just don't talk. Talk is cheap. Do your part. He said, if you meet me, you draw an out of me, and I'll draw an out of him. If you, if you draw and put your tie down here, I'll turn around and, and, and meet you. But I'm not going to do it all. You're going to have to put some work in. you have to do your part if you want your blessing. Remember, it's not about us. It's about others. It's those saints down there. Our, they are our brothers and sisters. Yes, if they were in our shoes, they'd be hearing the same message. If we were in their shoes, we want be want people to help us. Yes, yes. Now we we got the opportunity to do good. You just heard it from him. Where there's where there's time to do uh, uh, good is when you when you have that opportunity, you got to do good. You should do it. Now you got the opportunity to do good. Amen. Now's the time. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow's not promised. Amen. Not next week. Not next month. Amen. Today. Amen. While you're alive, breathing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you know if you're doing your best. Hallelujah. I'm not talking to them that are doing their best. I'm talking to those that are slacking. Amen. You know who you are. Amen. Yes. Those are the ones that the Spirit is talking to. If you're doing well, you're doing good, keep going. Yes. Do a little extra if you can. Amen. Do a little extra. Amen. It don't hurt to do a little extra. Yes. Amen. But I'm saying to those that are not, that's just doing the minimum. Yes. It's, not, it's like coming up here with, you got, you got a husband coming in with 50 cents putting it in the tray. Yeah. That's shameful. Yes, it is. You got all other brothers putting five and ten dollars, but you come with fifty cents. Amen. You got a job. Right. But you got a job. Yeah. But you you gonna put fifty cents in there? But you can go over there and, 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 and buy two or three cokes that cost a dollar each. But you can go buy that. But during the offering, you put fifty cents because you just want to save your money to go get snack because your mouth is dry. <laughs> It's got to be in your heart. Yes, now you know why these uh, the people that are walking right, they're so happy. Because they're doing what the Spirit told them to do. That's why they're happy. And you can see it on their face because Yahweh has blessed them. He rewards them that do labor. You're not doing nothing... Uh, You're not doing anything. Right. But just, coming just coming in here, just doing the minimum. Right. Shame on you. Amen. You wonder why you and your family don't have. Amen. Just have the minimum. Amen. You put minimum, he give you minimum. Amen. Like that. Amen. You want what they have, then you got to do your part. Amen. You put the Lord first. It says over there in the book of Matthews. You, it says... But first seek those things in the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness and all the things that will be added to you. Yeah. If you do your part first, yes, Lord. seek the kingdom of God first. Amen. 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 Seek him first. Amen. The first substance. Amen. Look, Amen. Having your heart to put God first. Yes, Amen. Not man. Amen. God. Because when it's all said and done, who are you going to stand before, man or God? God. So don't worry about man. That's right. They can't put you in heaven and hell. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Seek God first Amen. with your first substance. Amen. He'll take you, he'll, he'll pour the spirit, he'll pour the blessing on you. Amen. Yeah, that's right. You have no room. Read. Improving now herewith, uh -huh. says Yahweh of hosts. Uh -huh. If we're not if we're not open you the windows of heaven uh -huh. and pour out you a blessing. See? Hallelujah. He'll pour out a blessing. Amen. And what else? Oh, yeah. There shall not be a room uh -huh. enough to you to receive it. Uh-huh. And I will rebuke the devourers for your sakes. Yes. How do you prove it? By paying your tithe and offering. Amen. When you come into the uh, the house of Yahweh. Amen. Remember, this is a house of judgment. Amen. He's judging you. Every time you walk down here when it's tithe and offering, he's judging you. You can see what is what she gonna do today, or he gonna do today. He did fifty cents last time. Oh, he put fifty dollars in there. Amen. He heard the message and woke up. He's doing better. Let me see if he do it next time. Let me see if he do it Thursday and Sunday. And if we get everybody to think like that, won't be no no standing on no corners. Then the Lord said, you know what? I'm going to give them a church. They labor so hard. They got enough money. Mexico, and they got enough money here in Arlington. Let me give them a church. For their hard work. Because I'm ready to get out of this place. I'm ready to get out of this place. We deserve better. But we got to do first. We got to think about our brothers and sisters in Mexico. Like Apostle Washington. He's got his mind down there to help them. You've seen them. I haven't seen them yet, but you have seen them. You've seen what they go through. Don't let a little child like what's the name said, you know what? <laughs> yeah, her. I do you. Her, this is a child. A child. Not a grown up. It pricked her heart. Yes. It pricked her heart. Amen. She felt their pain yeah. for her brothers and sisters. Yes. Now she know what mom and dad have to do when they work hard. Amen. They see the, what mom and dad do. When they went down there and saw those kids, knowing that their mom and dad doing the very best they can, she felt yeah. sorry for them. Amen. But you got, you got it. You got children. They got clothes on them. They healthy. They plump. They're not sick. Amen. They're healthy. Oh yes. But you go down there, and that mother and father down there is doing the very best they can. Right. But you, but you got a job. Some of them don't have jobs down there. But if they do, they're not getting paid well. You know the cartels down there, yeah. they taking all the money. They do. Yeah. We deal with facts here. They get that cut. Believe me. They they don't let nothing go. When you see those movies on TV, it's, it's just like that. Just like that. Why do you think they make those movies? To show you how powerful they are. True. That stuff ain't make-believe. They ain't making that stuff up. That's right. But you, this is the house of God. This is Yahweh. He spared you. you a lot of us should have been already dead by now. A lot of us are in prison. Or in the Looney Tune, Nut House. I'm telling you the truth. Yes, Lord. Amen. Now I know this is a hard saying. What I'm saying to you. But we gotta get right. Time is running out. The clock is ticking. You heard what he said today. It's ticking. Time is not gonna wait on you. It's actually speeding up because it's getting near. For that time for him to crack that sky. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Read. And I will rebuke, rebuke the, the and I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. Mm -hmm. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Right. Neither shall vine mm -hmm. cast her fruit before the time in the field. Right. Says Yahweh of hosts. Right. Yahweh of hosts. Yes. Amen. Amen. And all nations shall call you blessed. Let's go over here to uh, Matthew 
Matthews. My time is almost up. Yahweh. Matthew 6 and 32. Matthew 6 and 32, for his written. What it say? But I say unto you, mm -hmm. that whoever shall put away his wife. No. Matthew 6 and 32. Oh, for after all these things do the Gentiles <laughs> seek. Mm -hmm. For you are heavenly. Uh -huh. Father uh -huh. knows that you ha have need of all these things. Right. But seek you the first kingdom of God. Do what? Seek, seek you, you first, first the kingdom of God. First. 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 It didn't say second or third or fourth. It first. said first. Amen. And what else? And in his righteousness. Uh -huh. And all these things shall be added to, unto and, you. And what? And all, all these things. things. If you do what you're supposed to do, he's going to take care of you. You can count on that. Because you know God cannot lie. He's not going to lie. We, we, it's in the scripture. It's in the scripture. He cannot lie. He will not lie. For you or anybody else. Hallelujah. Seek him first. And his righteousness. Uh -huh. And all these things shall be added unto you. Yes. Take, take therefore no thought for tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. Worry about today. Worry about tonight. Worry about paying your tithe and offering. Tonight, get right with God. Amen. If you ain't got it tonight, then when you come service, if you see you here on Sunday, then get it right. Amen. You still alive? Amen. He's giving you time. Yeah. Make that budget. Amen. That we can get a church in Mexico and get a church. Oh, so Yahweh can bless us. Amen. And it's not so much Yahweh blessing us; it's doing the right thing. He'll take care of you. You ain't got to worry about all that. Do what you're supposed to do, what's instructed to, for you to do, and he'll take care of you. He already know our needs. He already know what we want. That's right. He heard your cry. He heard your prayers. But he's not going to do none of that. It will curse you. It will curse your whole house. All the people in the house. You don't want that. So seek God first. In his righteousness. In his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. And all these things. Not some. All these things. Be added. To you. Your family. And everybody else in here. Yes Lord. If we come on one accord. No more standing on the corners. No more in this being in this building. But, but we need you on this weekend because we, because we, because we, uh, uh, possibly getting ready to go back to Mexico. It, he'll be here Wednesday, pulling out Thursday. No, he didn't say that. I, just for y'all that's thinking that, he didn't say we're going to stop raising funds. It should be in your heart anyway. Amen. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't get be clever. <laughs> Pastor Bibbs, you said we pay our time on, we ain't got to do no fundraiser no more. Nah, that ain't what I'm saying. The church will have it in need, and then we, we won't have to. We won't have to do all of it. Yeah. Go back, go back and budget your money. Start there first. Pray first and do a budget. Say, so Yahweh, help me with this budget. Because we're spending money foolishly. We waste money throwing, throwing food away, not even eating it all. We go out to eat on Sundays too much. We having birthdays that we can't afford. Excess of spending money. Help us, Father Yahweh. Help us. We're crying to you. We need some help. That's what we're supposed to do. When we're supposed to call, when we need help, we're supposed to go to the Father. He said, cast all your cares to him. Not just what you want. What you need. We need right now, we need funds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read that over. But seek you first the kingdom of God uh -huh. and his righteousness. Yes. 
and all these things shall be added unto you. Uh -huh. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. Keep for tomorrow going. shall take thought for itself. Tomorrow's going to take care of itself. For the things of itself. Mm -hmm. Sufficient unto the day mm -hmm. is the evil thereof. See, we don't want our labor to be e called evil. Yeah. We want to be called good. We want our labor to be called good. Yeah. Don't want yeah. yourself. Just do right. That's all the Spirit is saying. Just do right. Everything will be all right. Do right and everything will be all right. Amen. That's all you got to do. Do right and everything will be all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm trying to squeeze this in real quick. I think you got two minutes. Four. Let's go to Corinthians. Y'all know where I'm going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get it in. I'm going to get it in. I am. First Corinthians 15 and 58. What do it say? And we're going to end here. First Corinthians 15 and 58. Yeah, we're with some power, Z. For it is written. Uh-huh. Therefore, therefore, my beloved brethren, my beloved brethren, be you steadfast, be steadfast, unmovable, unremovable, always abounding in always the work. Always abounding in the work. Amen. Amen. For as yeah. much as you know, yes, that you labor, your labor is not in vain. It's in not the Lord. in vain. See, in vain. see, this labor won't be in vain. It won't be evil. It won't be called evil. It won't be in vain. He's not gonna forget it. He's not gonna forget you. Remember, he said everything will be added unto you if you do your part. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. So if, just remember the scripture when you go home to do that budget. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I give Yahweh all the rules and praise this day. Amen. Thank Yahweh for the few words he gave me. I say to the church, continue to pray for me and my wife that we continue to go strong in this way. Get ready to turn the service over to uh, Dick and Dean that he may lead us further in our service. Let everyone rise by saying praise Yahweh. Amen. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Wonderful words that came forth this night. It was right on time. It was needed. We're going to go ahead and move to the uh, toddler and offering. Let's all send it right so we can have what in prayer. Heavenly Father Yahweh, blessed the toddler and offering. Blessed to be hundred and four. Blessed as we give it up back to you. In the name of Yeshua, we'll let's say amen. 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 To the hands of the earth.
will sing amen and we'll lift our voices and sing everything is going to be alright cause I know there is a blessing in it somehow so we'll sing amen and we'll lift our voices and sing everything's going to be alright I know there is a blessing in it somehow so we'll say amen and we'll lift our voices and sing. I know there is a blessing in it somehow. So we'll say amen and we'll lift our voices and sing. is this Sunday for every um, adult um, or working saint. Also, uh, as far as the teenagers that are working, a fundraiser this Saturday at 8 a.m. at the same location, and then we'll be selling tonight uh, chili dogs. Amen. Any more announcements? Those who need prayer, you can come to the front. That's all set and rise so we can pray out. Heavenly hey, Father Yahweh, thank you for giving us another day that was not promised unto us. Thank you for your word that we fought this night. It was true and blessing. I believe that we all did be fed. Those who are sick or in pain, touch them and heal them. And continue on giving the strength that we need to overcome Satan and his evil angels. So we can fight and bring them down as your will is. Oh, I give thanks unto the Lord for you. He is good and his mercy do it forever. Let this one I say, his mercy do it forever. Let the health of everyone I say, his mercy do it forever. Those who fear Yahweh say, his mercy do it forever. In the name of Yahshua, let us say, amen. <laughs> 